Welcome to Wisconsin Women. We're so glad you can join us. We are two minutes off of the West Beltline Highway at the a new med spa in McFarland. We're going to learn about cool sculpting, the ultimate, finally, the way to get rid of those pockets of fat that just won't go away. I got a few of those myself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't worry. Right now we're meeting with the Madison Ballet. When I think of the Madison Ballet, I think of the performances. Mm -hmm, sure. but we're actually going to be talking about the school. Kind of cool. Yeah. Joining us right now is Rachel Butler. She's the director and a ballet master, and she's going to talk to us about the school. Thanks for joining us today. Of course. I wonder if we can start by talking about the teaching philosophy. Absolutely. So at the School of Madison Ballet, the teaching philosophy is really a positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of studies that show that if students are positively reinforced, they're actually better served to uh, elevate their technical. Probably more motivated. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Sure, so we traditionally are based in a style where we're telling dancers what they aren't doing correct and what we like to do at the School of Madison Ballet is to reinforce the good things that are happening um, mm -hmm. so that they can really build their confidence as well as their skill set. I love that. Yeah. That's a great practice yeah. for right. all around. Right. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, what fun. style of training then do you, do you teach and offer there then at the school? So I like to say that we teach the Balanchine style. So Balanchine okay. was um, an innovator in the 1930s that came to America um, from Russia and okay. changed the style, the, the technical aspect mm -hmm. of how we train ballet dancers so that dancers that have different body types really are able to um, ac access ballet. Oh, uh, that's so that's, nice. the, that's the style that we teach at the Madison Ballet. That's nice because then it's yeah. it's pretty much for anyone, tall, short. Yes, absolutely. And finally, I can do one. <laughs> <laughs> it does it falling. <laughs> there definitely is a stereotype when you yes. think of a ballet. There is, yeah. Dancer. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So how do you go about ensuring to uh, make sure that all the students are allowed and have that opportunity to dance at the school? So we actually do a trial-based system to get into the school. So it's not about um, dancers' ability, it's about their commitment to coming to classes, mm -hmm. and we place them within the levels based on where their technical level is currently. Mm -hmm. So anybody can come and take class at the School of Madison Ballet. Let's take that one step further. As I mentioned earlier, we often think about the performances. Mm -hmm. right? And do the students get a chance to like actually perform, be on stage in front of a real audience? Yeah, absolutely. So annually we do the Nutcracker at the Overture Center. Mm -hmm. And we actually audition throughout the city and surrounding areas, throughout the Madison area community. And so any dancer can come and audition. Uh, we try our best to accept all of the dancers that want to participate. And we currently are working on a new production that is Midsummer Night's Dream that will be uh, the weekend of April 11th and 12th and we actually are using mostly our students from the School of Madison Ballet so they get lots of opportunities to perform with our professional company and in a professional setting at the Overture Center. It's just taking me back to my little tight days <laughs> right. and my tutu and I'm scared Aww. to death as a six-year-old. <laughs> right? right. So this must be for every age group, right? Mm -hmm. That you since when you said the Nutcracker, so pretty much every age. So then, what's like your ultimate desire then for these these classes or these students that come to your class? Mm -hmm. Right. So my ultimate desire is for dancers to and students, the children, um, to build confidence mm -hmm. and gain a lot of life skills that mm -hmm. will help them through any pathway in life. The goal is not necessarily for every dancer to become a professional dancer. Right. Right. Um, it's really so that they have a really fun activity to do after school and they get to participate in these wonderful performances where they really get to feel like big professional dancers, big ballerinas, <laughs> and um, you know, for them to carry on. I have a student that is look, going into law school, former student, because she's now yeah. right. Right. <laughs> kind of busy. Yeah, she's a little busy. Um, and you know, a lot of dancers, their trajectories are, are different, sure. but mm -hmm. my desire is just for them to build confidence and uh, you know, have those great life skills. Thank you so much, Rachel. If you'd like to find out more about getting your student enrolled, you can go to their website at the School of Madison Ballet. We're Wisconsin Women, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.